What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. I think summer is well and truly here and realistically there's one event on the summer calendar that all shark fans look forward to and that is of course Shark Week. I did a little video on Shark Week last year where basically I went through some of the programs that were scheduled and said these ones are worth watching and these ones are worth avoiding. It seems like people kind of enjoyed the episode and it helped them somewhat inform their decisions on what programs they wanted to watch. So I figured I'd do it again for you all. This year's Shark Week is being emceed by former WWE turned actor Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And I really like him. I think he's a cool guy. And even though Shark Week hasn't been emceed officially before, I think he's a pretty good choice for the role. I know on the face of it, he's not a shark scientist or maybe even a person who knows that much about sharks. But I get the fact that they have to bring a celebrity in to try and make it accessible to everyone everyone who wants to watch Shark Week. Also his Samoan heritage and the fact that he grew up in Hawaii means that his culture is deeply connected to the ocean and sharks. So I'm a fan of choosing him, definitely. So this year Shark Week is kicking off on the Discovery Channel on Sunday, the 24th of July. Although there's a whole host of other programs scheduled the week before. There's a bunch of shows on the Discovery Channel as well as Discovery Plus and then some streaming services like Hulu and Disney Plus too. Again, I'm not gonna do them all for you because we'd be here for literal hours, but I've hand selected a few of them and for the other ones, you're just gonna have to make your own minds up. For those of you in the UK like me who can't get the Discovery Channel, the programs that feature usually air a week later on National Geographic, so keep your eyes open for those. Although the majority of you guys watching these Shark Bites episodes are from America, so the programs and the timings are mainly for you lot. Okay, right, let's get stuck into these shows. Up first on my must-watch list is Great White Battleground. Now, the name of this one sounds a little bit rubbish, but I actually think it's going to be pretty interesting. It features shark scientist Michelle Jules, who was a pretty prominent shark scientist working on Great Whites in South Africa. The show synopsis seems to suggest that Michelle is heading out to go and look at great white shark breaching behavior with the idea that it's not all to do with hunting. Michelle has been designing the experiment that features on the show for years and years and is really, really excited to show it to the world. She's a great shark scientist to feature on Shark Week and in previous years, she's actually written papers calling out Shark Week for those fake shitty shows they did like the one on Submarine. So she's an actual shark scientist doing real work on great white shark behavior in South Africa. So she's gonna know her stuff. Shark behavior and communication is also really, really cool. So I'm one 100% gonna be watching this one. And if you did wanna watch Great White Battleground, you can do so on Sunday, the 24th of July, 8 p.m. Eastern time on Discovery and Discovery Plus. Right, time for a crap Shark Week program, and this one is definitely on my avoid list. The show I'm referring to is Jackass Shark Week 2.0. Yep, that's right, the Jackass boys are back again to ruin the reputation of sharks once more. Last year, I told you not to watch their show because it was gonna be absolutely stupid and feature really stupid stunts involving sharks. Of course, it did feature a bunch of stupid stunts with sharks, and in one of those stunts, one of the jackass boys poopies got bitten by a shark. I actually did a video on that incident and if you wanted to watch my thoughts on it you can click this link here. I think what's even funnier though is that this guy right here who launched himself headfirst into the water to save poopies actually saw the video that I did on shark bites about it and boy was he fuming. <laughs> He sent me a nice long paragraph in the comments section telling me that I lived in my mum's basement and that he wanted to meet me face to face to try and iron out our issues. <laughs> Sorry, bro, I'm already scheduled in to fight AVNJ, so get to the back of the line. Anyway, it looks like the Jackass boys are back again this year to do some more stupid stunts with sharks and to try and help Poopies get over his now fear of sharks. So this one is definitely on my avoid list again. Okay, next up on my must watch list is Air Jaws. Of course, Air Jaws is gonna be on my list every single year. And this year they've gone with the title Air Jaws Top Gun, which sort of is playing on the whole Top Gun revival thing going on at the moment. They're always so topical with the titles. I think the one last year was about the Olympics or something like that. Nice work, Air Jaws. Anyway, Air Jaws is always filled with some pretty cool experiments and some amazing shots of great white sharks launching themselves out of the water, which I absolutely love. This year, they're looking for the biggest great white shark to have ever breached, which is kind of similar to what they've done in previous Air Jaws shows, but I just can't get enough of those big splashes. I am a little bit skeptical about one of the guys that they've got on the show who I'm not a massive fan of, which is Andy Cassegrand, who's previously been responsible for spreading a lot of misinformation about sharks on Twitter. But even so, I love Air Jaws, so if you can ignore Andy Cassegrand, Grand, then I think this one is still going to be worth a watch. And if you did want to watch this one, it's going to be on Discovery and Discovery Plus at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday the 25th of July. Okay, next up on my avoid list is the Impractical Jokers Shark Week Spectacular. This one says it's going to feature extreme challenges and dares involving sharks, which kind of fits what the Impractical Jokers do towards the end of their shows. It sounds like it's going to be slightly similar to what the Jackass Boys are doing, but perhaps somewhat less stupid. I don't know why there seems to be a trend in recent years of Shark Week where they're doing shows that involve challenges and dares with sharks. It has no relevance to shark science or research and I don't really get it. Call me grumpy, but I don't even think the Impractical Joker guys are that funny. 
Just my opinion, of course. So yeah, I'm saying avoid this one. I don't think you're going to learn anything new about sharks that you didn't already know. And I don't really think it's going to be that funny. God, I'm like such a grumpy Brit. I swear I'm not, guys. <laughs> okay, back to interesting programs that I think you should definitely watch. And I'm pretty intrigued about this next one. The show I'm referring to here is called Raging Bulls. And I think it might be worth a watch. It is, of course, as the title suggests, about bull sharks and their behavior in Australia. I know a lot of you on the channel are interested in bull sharks, and it sounds like this one's going to cover some stuff about their aggression and their conflict with humans. It features Paul de Gelder, who is a shark bite survivor, having lost a hand and a leg in a shark attack many years ago. Despite the incident, Paul is now a big advocate for sharks and speaks about them across the world. To be fair, I don't really know that much about Paul, but the show does also feature Dr. Johan Gustafsson, a shark ecologist based in Australia. He's a real shark scientist doing some cool research on sharks down under, and he's written a bunch of papers about them, so he's definitely going to know his stuff. I think it'll be an interesting watch, and it'll be pretty cool to have a shark bite survivor alongside a shark scientist looking at shark human conflict. And I know lots of you watching this video right now are probably going to enjoy it, so if you did want to watch it, it's going to be on the Discovery Channel at 11 p.m. Tuesday, the 26th of July. Now, I'm a little bit torn about this next program because the premise of it sounds really good, but the guy hosting it is a bit of a tool. The show entitled Walking Shark is probably going to be about, yep, you guessed it, walking sharks. I imagine it's going to be looking at epaulette sharks and the hemoscylid family of sharks who have been shown to be able to walk on land and also the seafloor underwater. I love epaulette sharks and some of their relatives. They're some of my favorite shark species, which is why I'm a little bit torn about this show. The guy hosting it is Forrest Galanti, who I've had issues with in the past, and I just don't think he's a very good science communicator. He did a pretty rubbish show last year on Shark Week about the black demon shark, and then he also regularly claims that he's rediscovered certain shark species, even though people definitely rediscovered them before him, and then fails to give those people credit. So I kind of get the feeling that he's going to head to Papua New Guinea and claim that he has proved that these sharks can definitively walk on land, even though we definitely already know they can do that. I'm really split 50-50 on this one. Part of me really wants to watch the show because I love epaulette sharks, but then the other part of me really doesn't like Forrest Galanti, so I'm a bit torn. So it's sort of semi on my watch list, but also semi on my avoid list. I don't know. It's confusing. You're going to have to make your own mind up on that one. If you did want to watch it, it's on Wednesday, the 27th of July at 8 p.m. on Discovery and Discovery Plus. And if you didn't want to watch it, then you can just completely ignore what I just said. So if I was a bit confused on the last one, I'm definitely not confused on this one because I am 100% going to watch it. So up next on my must watch list is Great White Comeback. The show is looking at the mysterious disappearance of Great Whites from South Africa around 2017, which was where the Great Whites basically vanished from the area, almost never to be seen again. I've spoken about this incident a few times on Chart Bite, so I reckon this program is hopefully going to shed some light on what actually happened there. We're going to be joining Alison Towner, a white shark scientist based in South Africa, who probably knows better than all of us what happened with those disappearing white sharks back in 2017. We haven't got much to go on based on the program description, but I think it will be pretty interesting, and it's going to feature some real shark science along the way. I know lots of you watching at home are probably curious about what happened with those white sharks disappearing in South Africa, so you'll probably enjoy this one just as much as I will. So if you did want to watch Great White Comeback, you can do so on Wednesday, the 27th of July, 11 p.m. Eastern time on the Discovery Channel. Okay, so this next one looks a little bit pointless and I'm not really sure what they're going to uncover from a shark science perspective. It's called Pigs vs. Sharks and of course looks into the infamous swimming pigs that live in the Bahamas. Supposedly the episode is trying to find out whether tiger sharks might be feeding on that pig population in the Bahamas and that's putting the pig population in peril. Okay. I mean, I'm not really sure what we're going to learn from watching this Shark Week program. The tiger sharks might feed on the pigs occasionally because they're scavengers and they'll pretty much eat anything, but... So what? I don't really think we're gonna learn anything new here. The whole swimming pig Bahamas thing is a massive tourist trap anyway, and you'd never catch me going there. And it's also the site, sadly, at which a young girl was killed by three tiger sharks, which is actually a pretty rare thing to happen. So maybe the whole pig swimming thing in the Bahamas isn't actually the best of things for shark human conflict. I'm not sure. Anyway, with that one, I'm saying avoid. So last on my list this year for programs that I definitely think you should watch is the Great Hammerhead Stakeout. I love Hammerhead, so I'll be watching this one for sure. It features Dr. Tristan Guttridge, who has done loads of research on sharks in the Caribbean. Tristan has done some cool stuff on social learning in shark species, which I've always found super interesting, and he knows his stuff. He's going to be joined by British TV presenter James Glancy, and they're going to head to Andros Island in the Bahamas to investigate a population of great hammerheads. Apparently, they're also going to be doing some really long dive in some kind of underwater habitat thing for 10 hours, which sounds pretty cool. So if you want to get your hammerhead fix, you can catch this one at 11 p.m. Eastern time, Friday, the 29th of July. So there we go, guys. That's a little handpicked selection of Shark Week shows 2022 for you to ponder over. I think there's also going to be a Shark Week podcast this year, which is going to feature some of the shark scientists that are featured on the shows throughout the week talking about their shark research, which sounds pretty cool. And if you wanted to listen to that, it's going to be on all the normal streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. What do you think about some 
of these shot we chose? Are there some that you're definitely going to watch? Some that you're definitely not going to watch? Do you disagree with some of the ones that I've talked to you about today? If so, I want to hear all your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. It massively helps out the channel every time you click that like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the Sharp Eye channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Till then, see you next time.